Welcome to Ultracept CSS, the reference standard in screen printing color separation software. Ultracepts is developed and supported by Steve Roginski, the developer of Quickseps Professional. The demo video is about 38 minutes in length and briefly highlights the most vital aspects of the program. It by no means showcases every feature included, nor can detail the incredible power of the program due to time constraints. In fact, the full instructional video included with Ultraceps is in excess of four hours. We're sure you'll find the demo video quite informative. Prior to showcasing the program's vital features, I'd like to point out one important distinction between Ultraceps and other products. Although at first glance it appears Ultraceps is a set of actions within Photoshop, in reality it's not. Most of the action buttons simply act as triggers to initiate highly sophisticated external applications installed on your computer, many of which contain logic that can make decisions based upon the image being processed. This, along with an extensive plugin architecture, permits Ultraceps to generate results not possible using Photoshop alone. As you can see, when turning off button mode in the Actions palette and expanding one of the actions, they are not pre-recorded instructions, as is the case with a standard action. The only instruction is a call to an external program, as can be seen here. We decided to allow Ultraceps to run through the Actions palette for simplicity's sake only, as most users are familiar with the concept. The first things we'll quickly look at are the various image enhancement functions of Ultraceps. The first being Ultra Image Fix Basic, which adds a basic RGB color correction to your file. Let's undo that. The next is Ultra Image Fix Intense, which adds a more radical color correction to your file and will really bring life back into your images. Now let's undo that. Next thing we'll look at is Ultra Brighten Shadows. And that really added some clarity back into your image. Now if we combine that with running Ultra Image Fix Basic and compare it to the original, you can see there's an immense improvement. Now let's repair another image that clearly lacks color, clarity, and detail. First thing we're going to do is click Ultra Brighten Shadows. Next we'll run Ultra Image Fix Basic. Now we'll add a little contrast to the image by clicking Ultra Black Correction. And finally, we'll click Ultra Sharp. And now let's compare this to the original. Quite a bit of difference. Do you find yourself sometimes working with scans from magazines that contain pre-existing halftones or JPEGs that have artifacts or grain such as this within an image? If that's the case, you need to run Ultra Repair Photo JPEG. Let's click it now. And within a few seconds, there we have the uh, result after running the uh, filter, and here's before. And as you can see, all of this grain in her face is now magically gone. Do your customers give you files such as this? low resolution JPEGs. Now this one's about 10 inches wide at 96 dpi. That's not going to be good enough for t-shirt printing. So we've included two options, both ultra low resolution enhanced and an XL version which is new to the program. Now let's run low resolution enhanced XL and see what we get. Now after the process is complete, here's our original which is a 96 dpi image and here is the processed file after running low resolution enhanced XL. This file can actually be used for color separation and screen printing when the original can. Simply amazing. Ultraceps contains not only one but two completely different simulated process color separation programs. One is named Ultraceps Sim number one and the other is named Ultraceps Sim number two. And these, as I said, these are totally different from one another and generate a totally different look and operate on different principles. Now, let's click Ultracept Sim number one and see what we get with this file. 
the type of file that you would probably be separating on a day-to-day -day basis. Within 30 to 90 seconds, the separation is done, depending upon file size and computer speed. And you see we have a lot of channels here, which is a good thing, uh, because not all files are created equally. And you'll need to click and choose sometimes between channels to see what works. I'd also like to point out that Ultraseps contains an extensive set of features to generate custom color channels for your simulated process separations, and all your separations for that matter, because in case you have some odd color like a metallic or a neon or something like that, you want to be able to generate that color accurately. And Ultraseps allows you to do exactly that. Now let's just click some channels on and off manually and see what we have. Let's turn on the shirt background, a white base, and then some yellow, some blues, a red, a highlight white, and a black. And wow, I think we kind of nailed it right out of the gate. Only Ultraseps can offer this sort of performance without any adjustments whatsoever. And adjusting the file is just going to make it better and better and better. Now let's say you're not in the mood to uh, pick channels one at a time and, and it's a basic file such as this and you just want to try to cut this down to maybe like five or six colors in one shot. Well, we have two ways of doing it. We look at the actions here. We can reduce the image to four and five top colors using two completely different methods. Let's choose one here under the header in a hurry and let's click basic five color sep run. Now once that's complete we're left with two, a choice between two different white underbases and uh, and that's about it. That's about the only thing you need to choose. So you have that, we have our yellows, our blues, our red, our highlight white, our black. Now if needed, the blue and the aqua here can be merged together by clicking this action here. Now we have a one, two, three, four, five, six color image. It could be printed in five colors if it was on a black shirt with omitting the black ink. And, you know, for a less critical job that does not have a lot of white showing, you could possibly omit the highlight white. So theoretically, this could be printed in like four top colors, which is pretty amazing. Now let's take a look at a completely new function called Ultracep Sim Number 2 which is the second simulated process color separation program included with Ultraseps. And it generates separations that are entirely different from the number one function. The simulated number two separations are very, very easy to adjust. And they also include special channels to permit the screen printer to generate more colors on press using fewer screens. Now, what more could you possibly ask for? Now we're going to take a little test run on this file here. Now this is not necessarily too difficult to separate, but it would be extremely difficult for most users to separate without the use of Ultraseps and the Ultraseps SIM number two function. Let's click it now. Okay, after a minute or so, you'll be presented with an option to generate a brown, flesh, gray, and magenta channel. Let's do that now by clicking the Add Additional Colors number two action. After about 10 seconds or so, your, the basic separation will now be complete with all of your channels intact. All the end user will have to do most of the time is to pick and choose which channel they want to use, which very important highlight white they want to use, how that highlight white should be adjusted, if at all, and if any custom color channels should be generated using the other functions of Ultraseps, if this particular file contains some odd colors such as metallics, neons, and so on. Now that the raw separation has been completed using Ultracep SIM number two, let's turn on some channels. Let's hit the shirt background channel and some other channels that we know we have color data in and see what it looks like. And if I could say so myself without any adjustments whatsoever, that's not too bad looking. Now if you notice, I have yet to turn on a highlight white. 
The highlight whites are very different with this when compared to other simulated process color separation programs where they go into other areas of color that to help generate more colors on press, okay? Now this is more than likely advantageous with flesh tones and earth tones as opposed to bright, vibrant graphics such as this. So let's turn on the dark highlight white, which is the lighter of the two highlights. And you can see that brought out, you know, a lot of white detail in the, the uh, motorcycle, a little bit in the flame areas here and the lettering. Uh, it may look like a little too much on screen, but this will probably print great on press. However, if for any reason you wanted to reduce the amount of highlight white a little bit within the letters, within these darker areas, all you would need to do is to go to your actions palette and click our light and highlight run action here with your highlight channel selected. And that will bring it down to what we call a normal highlight. And if I could say so myself, this is a pretty good looking separation with no adjustments whatsoever aside from lightening that highlight channel just a little bit. Do you have a file to separate that contains colors like tans, earth tones, flesh tones, things like that? Well, if you don't have ultraseps, then you have a big problem. Because these are some of the most difficult colors to separate. Why? Because they're very close to reds in the RGB spectrum. So it's difficult to differentiate between light brown, medium brown, dark browns, tans, and so on and so forth. Due to the fact that they're very, very close to red and everything kind of comes up red. Well, I've seen some other programs try to generate browns and flesh tones and earth tones. Let me tell you, it's pretty sickening. But we have the most extensive selection of tools here to generate uh, flesh tones and earth tones that it's mind-boggling. In fact, it'll take me a half an hour to go through it. So I'm just going to show you one. Let's say you wanted to do a separation on this. Let's say you had a separation done and you needed to add some flesh tones and earth tones. Well, let's click this one action here and see what happens. Okay, and in about 15 seconds, check this out. You know, we generated these automated dark, middle, and light flesh ch channels here for this separation, okay? Now, we call them flesh, but, you know, these could be browns or tans, whatever. We just happen to call them flesh. Each has a, uh, a PMS number here. Let's turn them on and off sequentially. Now, look, we have a dark flesh, okay? a middle, a light, and a channel we use for viewing. And now, let's v zoom in on this. And let me, I got to tell you guys, this is pretty good. These are not chunky type black filled channels these are perfectly generated channel calculations within photoshop nothing else on the market can generate earth tones and flesh tones like ultraseps bet the ranch on that and it's important to note that you don't have to use three browns within your uh, separation these can be merged into two and sometimes one channel okay so don't let the three channels here scare you in fact we even include sequences that'll pull just a single flesh channel or brown channel or whatever you want to call it to add to your color separation. We have got the basis covered for all of these difficult to pull colors. If you're going to be using discharge inks, you're going to have to concern yourself primarily with your white base. You cannot use a standard white base when printing with top discharge colors. Ink has to be removed from these areas of red and blue and tan and yellow and so on and so forth okay the only place you really want to have white ink within a discharge print is where white is actually seen within the image now we've included an action called white discharge base run which generates a specific white under base for discharge printing in order to uh, accomplish that just click your intended white base and then click the function in the actions palette Okay, upon completion, you'll see that it's generated a white, white underbase channel named White Base Discharge. And if we compare that to the original white base ink, which we made a copy of on the bottom, you'll see the difference. Where this is a standard traditional white underbase, and here you have a discharge base, where white is only used where white is actually needed within the art. I've always been a big fan of True Process CMYK color. I mean, what's there not to like about a process that allows you to print just about any image with only four inks? Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Thing is, most screen printers hate CMYK printing. Why? Well, because it usually comes out like crap, 
Everything prints dark and muddy by the time you get to the fourth or fifth shirt. The colors are all off. I mean, there's so many things that can go wrong. It's incredible. And it's always due to the separation. Simple as that. And even though you're only working with four colors, there's a lot that can go wrong. There's a lot of variables. So CMYK separations are not necessarily the easiest thing to do. Well, if you have a copy of Ultraceps, you can forget about all of the process color problems that you've ever had because we just resolved them. Not only did we include the most accurate way to generate CMYK true process steps, but we've also included methods that will allow you to add a custom spot color to your CMYK separation if needed, and also a method to help that spot color gel better with your CMYK separation so it looks more natural when you get it on the t-shirt. Now let's run a true process separation on this image and see what we get. Let's click the CMYK SEPS run action now. In about a minute it will be complete and we've generated the CMYK separation and we have our white underbase, our yellow, magenta, cyan, black, highlight and we also have a dark highlight which is used for certain types of files. We go over that in the user guide and the full version video. Now at first glance you'll notice that it's on the light side. It looks a little washed out compared to the original. This is due to two reasons. Number one, there's been massive adjustments made to this so it actually prints on press as the original looked on screen. Okay, That's reason number one. Reason number two is there are no CMYK composite channels. Okay, They are gone. When you convert a CMYK separation within the composite channels into a multi-channel image, you lose some of the color integrity, at least how it appears on screen. So it's going to look a little light. But this is normal, okay? You have to trust it. And you'll also notice that we magically retain the RGB channels, okay? Now these are going to come in handy when we add a custom spot color to our CMYK separation if one happens to be needed. So let's say if you have a big area of bright red like we do in this, maybe you want to add a spot red channel. Although this would print okay without it. You know, if your customer is very particular, maybe you would want to put a spot red in there. Now let's add a custom spot color channel to this CMYK separation. In this case, we're going to add the red. Let's click the Add Spot Color to CMYK, and watch how easy this is. Let's choose our red, let's click OK, and let Ultraceps do the rest. And bang, that custom spot color channel has been generated. Now if we turn on our other channels, and then our new CMYK spot channel and let's move it above the black and you'll see that it really added pop to that red however there's probably too much pop and it needs an adjustment this is a problem when adding spot channels to CMYK separations the spot channels are very very harsh they kind of take on a life to themselves and it's not really the spot color channel itself that needs to be adjusted it's the process color separation so we've got a solution for that and that's called Remove Spot Color Data from CMY. Let's click that. Okay, once this process is complete, now we have a CMYK separation with that custom spot channel that looks natural. Now if we turn off the custom spot channel, you can see there's really not much data there with the process color separation itself, okay? So you're basically relying on the spot colors channel channel not too much not too little and not too much and not too little of the process colors underneath to make this a natural looking separation now let's go back to the original prior to that ultraceps adjustment and you can see this is just too strong it's just too vibrant it has a life life to itself now if we look at the modified version you'll see that the separation looks perfect and this is going to print great Ultraceps includes the most advanced method, period, to generate grayscale separations. Now, grayscale separations can be done on files that are already like a black and white grayscale image, or they can be run on color images such as this. Now, let's run a grayscale separation on this old movie poster. In about a minute or so, the process has been complete and the grayscale separation generated. And we have all our required channels here. We have our white base. We have our three grays, we have a highlight, we have a black, and as usual with ultraceps, you know, we always have a choice of uh, highlight whites with every form of separation. Now, i got to tell you guys, these grayscale separations are so accurate. I've had people take a look at them on screen and swear that they were just, 
a grayscale version of a color RGB file. Well, that's simply not the case. These separations are that good. And if needed, some of these gray channels can be reduced down. So you don't necessarily have to use six colors and five colors. A lot of these grayscale images can be printed with four colors on press, and they will look absolutely stellar. If you're looking to generate a separation that is very, very simple to do, looks great on press, and requires zero adjustments, look no further than index separations. We absolutely love these things. Now, Ultraseps obviously contains many different methods to generate index. We have completely automated routines that will generate either a four, five, six, seven, or eight color index, and we have the highly recommended custom index separation technique that allows the end user to select the actual colors used within the image. Now let's run a four color auto index separation on this file here. Once the separation is complete, we have all our required colors, okay? We have the white under base, a yellow, a blue, a red, a black, and a couple different highlights, all right? Now the important thing to note here is that Ultraseps also generates not only indexed highlight and uh, underbase white channels, but it also generates halftone underbase and highlight white channels. Sometimes index separations will print better when you use a traditional underbase and highlight as opposed to an indexed highlight and underbase. So just keep that in mind. Now let's zoom in to get a better look at the actual separation itself. And that doesn't look too bad for something that took about two minutes. Okay, now we just ran the custom index number one action on this file. And this has generated uh, the underbases and highlights, both an index and traditional halftone. And it also generated a index channel where the end user has selected the colors within the image. So that's already been done. And it's very simple to do. The user guide and the... Um, Full version video shows you how to do it. Now, you might be looking at this now and you say, hey, it's grainy, it looks horrible. Okay, well, let's zoom in and you'll actually take a look at it here. And this is how your file is actually going to print on press. Now let's let Ultraseps generate the individual spot channels for the index separation. Let's click custom index number two. And now we're just gonna simply disregard all these settings here and let's just click a color in here. We know we have yellow. Let's click on the yellow and click OK. And within a few seconds, Ultraseps has generated that spot channel for you. Okay? It'll name it spot channel color one. And the color will be yellow and everything will be set correctly. Now you would just simply repeat this for each channel within your color separation. There's no need to make any changes to your foreground color, background color. It's all automated. Okay, and I've selected number spot colors channel 2, 3, 4, and 5. And let's do it one more time to select the last color, which will be the black. And now the custom index separation is done. And if we click on the channels, we have the yellow, we have the blue, we have the flesh, we have the green, we have the red, and we have the black. And this is like a very, very good looking index separation that is going to print great on press and will more likely uh, look better than the automated index separations where the end user is actually choosing the colors themselves. Maybe you have a pre-print line and you're looking for a different look. Maybe you'd just like to offer something pretty cool looking to your customers. Well, Ultraseps has included something that we call specialty separations that generate quad and tritone, blue, green, gold, red, and sepia tone separations. These work great and nail it right out of the gate. To give you an example of what these are, let's run a blue quad tone separation on this file here. And once it's done, here's what you get. A blue quad tone separation. Now these colors can be cut down to uh, allow fewer screens to be used on press. Let's say, you know, the powder blues can be mixed with the light blues and so on and so forth, okay? Let's take a look at the individual channels. Okay, we have a, okay, a white base, a medium blue, a light blue, powder blue, a primary highlight, which we recommend, and a bright navy blue. Now, that's a 
Very, very unique look, and it's something that, you know, you could consider adding to your preprint line or offering to your customers. And just to show everyone what each specialty separation looks like, we have them all here. Well, we just did the blue. Now here is the gold separation. Here is the green quad tone. The red tritone separation. And finally, the sepia tone. I'm sure you'll have many uses for this form of unique feature included with Ultraseps. Many times you'll be presented with files such as these that demand a basic hard spot color separation. Now maybe it's a high resolution JPEG or some sort of flattened file or EPS that you, know, you just can't simply bring into Corel or Illustrator and do like a vector type separation on. So you have to do it in Photoshop. Now we have a highly simplified technique to generate these within Photoshop that has been uh, improved immensely uh, when compared to Quicksets Professional. So let's run the basic spot color action here and pull uh, four spot colors for this image. Now once this color range window opens, all you need to do is select a color. Let's select the yellow, click OK. That's all you need to do, okay? And that spot color has been generated. It's called spot color one. If you double click it, you see it's uh, the proper color, contains all the correct attributes as the program itself has logic that's able to read the RGB color values selected by the end user, the intensity, so on and so forth. Click OK. Now let's just do this uh, three more times for each color within our image. Let's click the blue, click OK. And run it again. Let's click the navy blue, click OK. One more time to get the black, click the black, and now we're done. We have number one, number two, number three, number four spot colors. We have a perfect spot color separation generated in what, within 30 seconds or so, which is not too bad. Now we obviously included uh, other sequences here uh, that you will be using sometimes within your spot color separation process. Uh, we've included ways to generate other bases for your hard spot color separation, uh, in addition to adding certain color data to your underbase if needed, uh, trapping colors within your uh, spot color separation, and also adding a shirt background to the channels palette within your hard spot color separation file. Okay, we've obviously included our wildly popular quick draw functions with Ultraseps. However, we've also included new modules named Quick Draw 4 and Quick Draw 5. The big difference here is Quick Draw 5 is adjustable and allows the end user to control the amount of conversion in a slightly different way. Now, for those not familiar with Quick Draw, let's run one of the Quick Draw modules on this file here. And this will take maybe about 10 seconds or so. Stop. And what you can see Quick Draw did is it created a perfect black and white image from your color RGB image. And it'll do the same with a grayscale image. So there you have your original, and there you have your quick draw. And I've got to admit, this does a better job than any other product on the market by far. Now let's take a look at quick draw 5, which is adjustable. Let's run it on this image here. Okay, and after maybe about 10 seconds or so, you're going to have to follow the message box and you're going to have to make an adjustment to the threshold window that appears correct to you, okay? So let's adjust it down to here, click OK, and now the process is complete. And let's compare it to the original. There's our original color RGB, and here's the file converted with the Quick Draw 5 module. Simply amazing. Now for those of you who like Quick Draw, you're going to absolutely love UltraSketch which is a brand new product uh, that's been added to our color separation software, in this case, Ultraseps. Now, the difference between UltraSketch and QuickDraw is that UltraSketch is going to generate more of a softer pen and ink style uh, sketch of your uh, artwork. Now, it does not use techniques that are employed within Photoshop. It uses proprietary technology developed by me, yours truly, to get this type of look. It also omits filling dark areas uh, with black, such as Quick Draw will. So let's run Ultra Sketch on this image and see exactly how it functions. 
Now, it doesn't take too long, you know, maybe about 10 seconds or so. You know, and when complete, you can go to your layers palette and we'll have two layers. One is named Soft Sketch, the other is named Hard Sketch. Now, let's zoom in and take a look. And as you can see, this generated a very unique looking document, okay? Now, this can be simply output to a shirt, you know, as it is right now. It can be added as a custom channel to a separation, or it can even be changed in its color and be used for direct garment printing. All right, there's many, many things that can be done uh, with these Ultra Sketch files, and I do outline some of them within the user guide and full uh, version video included with Ultra Set. You know what's a really cool thing to do to a color photograph such as this? Well, I'll tell you, and that's converting it into a cartoon-style image. And Ultraceps includes probably the best method ever created to convert a continuous tone color photograph into a cartoon. Now, let's run Ultra Cartoon Run on this image of the Corvette. Okay, when complete, you'll go to your Layers palette, because this works in layers, not channels. It's not a separation. It's just an RGB file, and you'll have three layers. One named Cartoon Rough, which is your first conversion. Another named Cartoon Detailed, which is a different form of conversion. Still great looking. And another called Cartoon Stippled, which will work better for some images than others. Now, if we compare these to our original RGB file, let's go from Cartoon Rough back to the original photo and as you can see it really does have that hand-drawn animated type effect and you know same thing with the cartoon detail we go back and forth now with these at this file at this point you know you can color separate these for a t-shirt or if you have a direct to garment printer these are just RGB files. These can be output directly to your DTG machine and printed on a t-shirt, and boy, are they going to look great. Need to apply a distress type effect to an image? Well, you're in luck with Ultraceps, because we've included the absolute best method ever developed for doing so, called Distressed Image Run. And the great thing about this is that you can actually create your own distress filters with the use of Quick Draw. Now, this is discussed within the user guide and the full version video. Now let's click Distressed Image Run and see what we can do with this Robbie the Robot image, which will open up our Distressed Textures window, click Place, and now we're going to drag the handles to encompass the image completely, and within a few seconds that effect has been applied to the image. Let's zoom in, and if you go to your layers palette, okay, the great thing about our effect is that, number one, it can be turned on and off. So you can hold down your shift key and click the little icon next to your art here and turn the effect on or off. Okay, it can also be adjusted. See, so let's say you can go to image, adjustment curves, okay, and you can intensify that distressed effect, you can lessen it, whatever you like. Or if you don't like the, the filter that you chose to begin with, you know, you can redo it. Let's click OK. To make it permanent, drag that distressed icon into your trash in your channels palette, and you're done. Simple as that. Tired of using those ridiculously small registration marks in Adobe Photoshop to output your films with? Well, we've included automated register mark actions that have been immensely improved from Quicksaps Professional. Now they generate register marks in sizes one quarter inch to one and a half inches wide and they require the end user to do absolutely nothing with the exception of clicking the one button. So let's add three quarter of an inch registration marks to this color separation here. And that's it. It's done. And if I turn on each channel, you'll see the registration marks have been added to the base. Yellow, blue, green, red, flesh, black. Contains logic. It knows exactly how many channels you have. It knows exactly when to stop. It also adds center marks to the uh, file as opposed to just corner marks, 
We got a lot of requests for this, so we thought it was a good idea to add it. I think you'll all enjoy using the auto register mark actions included with Ultraseps. You've just finished your separation. It looks great. But now maybe you want to output this to your inkjet printer. So you have a proof to give to your guys at the press so they know what the job actually looks like. Or maybe you want to send a high resolution JPEG to your customer. To do that, you need to generate an RGB color proof of your multi-channel color separation. And we have a simplified method of doing that when compared to our previous program. And it's called Generate Composite Proof Run. And it only requires the end user to click the button and nothing else. Let's click it now. And within about five to 10 seconds or so, the function will generate a perfect RGB proof of your color separation. Okay, although I highly recommend to use a rip to output your films with, let's say for one reason or another you don't have one. Or maybe you have a printer that's not compatible with the new rip you just bought. Now I know a lot of people that are in this situation where they get a brand new rip, but they have this older printer that they absolutely need to use and for some reason it's not going to work with the new one. Well, we've got a solution for you. And these have been immensely improved and changed when compared to Quickseps Professional. Now the actions include a set of functions which generate halftones within Photoshop, okay? Now the way these are different is that they are not going to generate individual grayscale files, okay, with ingrained line screens, angles, and dot shape. It's going to retain all the information including the color data within your channels palette. It's simply amazing the way that I've engineered this. Now we're going to take this great looking color separation, which is in seven colors. This was generated using the Ultracept SIM number two routine. And we're going to run a 50 line halftone on this particular image. Let's click that now. Okay, in about two to three minutes or so, uh, the process will be complete. And you'll see that your channels are still there. They still contain the proper names, the color information, and so on. The big difference is, is that there has been a line screen, angle, and dot shape applied to each channel. It's no longer a standard multi-channel separation, with each channel being a grayscale that requires a rip to output to your uh, inkjet printer. Okay, This is pre-screened data here. So if we turn off some of the channels and we zoom in, let's say on the blue, you can see that it's actually dots, okay? It's not a grayscale channel. Now, some of the main advantages of having a file configured such as this is that it will output like a separation if you were using a RIP, okay? Whereas you were able to choose labels, so each film will contain your uh, color information such as blue 285, yellow 109, You'll be able to output this as just one document with each channel printing after one another sequentially to your inkjet printer. You'll be able to apply register marks. So basically, it behaves just like a normal separation does, you know, with outputting uh, with a rip. The only difference is you don't need a rip to output this type of file. 